Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to check a relay coil for resistance or ohms. The first thing you'll need to do on your relay coil or your relay is to determine which pins are connected to the coil. Most relays have a schematic imprinted on the side of the cover, which makes it easy to test. This black relay is pin number 85 and 86. If I test those two pins, I'll be able to determine the amount of resistance through the ignition coil. Let's give it a try. And I see that my resistance is 71.6 ohms, which would be normal for this relay that functions. If I look on this red relay, which has two coils built into it, these are the coils, and that's what it looks like in the side. Many coils of wire. You're going to test how much resistance or how much energy it takes the electricity to flow through those coils. The first coil is going to be connected to pin 86 and pin 31, and as you can see, it goes through a resistor. So pin 86 and pin 31. And I have 1.969 kilo ohms of resistance, which is not a lot of resistance. I know this coil to be bad. Let's test the other coil in this relay. So that would go to pin 86 and S. I have no continuity, so I know that coil to be burned out as well. This was the headlight relay off of a Saab, and I believe it to be bad. And we just confirmed it by testing the ohms in the relay coil. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.